Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about Canada Visitor Visa. If you want to correctly fill the form, make sure to watch this video. This will be a step-by-step -step guide how to fill this form. Let us begin. First thing that I want you to do is type Canada.ca. Select the language. Scroll down. Click on Immigration and Citizenship. Since we are applying for visitor visa, we'll click on visit, scroll down and click on apply for a visitor visa. Once here, you can take a look at these, read it. But we are concerned with this part. So we'll uh, click on apply. Now this part is asking you why are you applying for a visitor visa. So you can read all these and according to your own situation, you can select any of these. However, for the purpose of this video, I will be selecting to unite with a family member. Click on get instructions. Yes, I want to unite with a family member. Read, click on this, how to apply for a visitor visa through the IRCC portal. Now look, if you already have an account on IRCC portal, you can directly sign in. If not, you can click on sign up and apply. Now it will ask you what would you like to do? Apply for a visitor visa for myself? Like are you applying it for yourself or are you applying on behalf of someone else? For example, you can apply for your family, your parents. So if you are applying for your parents, you'll select the second one. But for the purpose of this video, I'm applying for myself. So I'll click on apply for a visitor visa for myself. No, I don't have an application process. Get an I click on get an IRCC portal account since we don't have the account. Here we will type our email address. We'll confirm our email address. Get invitation code. Now you can copy this code. We'll click on copy to clipboard. Once copied, we will click on continue to IRCC portal sign up page. Once over here, we'll click on invite code. We'll type our email address. We'll type password. We'll confirm password. We'll write our surname. And you'll write your name over here. Okay, since we are, I'm applying from India right now. So I'll give my Indian number. This will be plus 91, which is the code in India. And this will be your telephone number then you will click on sign up now you may have received a verification code on your email so uh, I'll show you that so the email will be something like this copy this code Come back to this page and confirm it. Now you need to type the same email address that you have given and the password and sign in. Agree to the terms. Now once you are over here since we are applying for a visitor visa, we'll click on the first this part. So you can read this, acknowledge it, and start application. So since I'm applying for myself uh, right now, I will be selecting no. However, for example, if you are applying for your parents, you can select yes 
so and the application could be for your father and mother save and continue i want to apply for a uh, visitor visa or super visa so depending on uh, uh, your situation you can read these and select one of one of this so you can select this part to visit other family or not listed above or friend for less than six months you can select uh, that you want to visit canada as a tourist so take a look at this and uh, depending on your situation you can select for the purpose of this video i'm selecting to visit family who are not listed above or friend for less than six months now this is asking why you want to visit canada what will you do in canada and the dates so since uh, uh, at the starting of the video i mentioned that uh, i'm fill i'm applying for the visa so that i can unite with my family so therefore i can write to visit my family and uh, you need to mention date also so uh, you can give date Okay, so once this is done, uh, since I have already mentioned the date, so I'll give year as 2023, month as May, date as first. So this is the date that you will enter Canada. So I have mentioned like I will be visiting my family from 1st of May till 1st of June and uh, I will be leaving Canada in first, on 1st of June. So if you have filled it in the past you may have received uh, this number identifier however I don't think for most of us uh, this we will be having this so you can leave it as it is this is optional save and continue so you can read this uh, passport is an essential documents mandatory document that you must have and these are the information that you will be updating on this uh, form so keep all these documents ready the details ready and click on continue to application uh, are you applying on behalf of someone else uh, in this case I am applying for myself therefore I am not applying on behalf of someone else but uh, as I have already mentioned you if you are applying for your parents you can mention like you are applying on behalf of someone else and you can click on yes however for the purpose of this video I am applying for myself therefore no save and continue so this is the information that they are asking of applicant so since i'm applying for myself i'll give my own information for the purpose of this video my name is smith my surname is smith and my name is adam so this section is your main name and this is your surname now we'll uh, give our date of birth I'm a male therefore I have selected male select accordingly save and continue uh, we are traveling with passport uh, it is a regular passport for most of us this is regular but depending on your situation you can select any so it is asking for the country code that matches with our passport which is India in my case it could be different in your case so select accordingly uh, nationality on my passport this is India for you it could be again different 
दिस इज माई पासपोर्ट नंबर दैट दे आर आस्किंग आई गिव योर पासपोर्ट नंबर कन्फर्म दिस नंबर सो दिस शुड मैच ऑब्वियसली सो डेट ऑफ इश्यू दिस विल बी मैं ऑन योर पासपोर्ट सो लुक एट योर पासपोर्ट एंड गिव दैट डेट ओवर हियर For the purpose of this video, I am giving any date. You need to give the date for it is mentioned on your passport. So this part now we are talking about is date of expiry, and this will also be mentioned on your passport. Scroll. No, I am not a permanent resident of the United States with a valid green card. uh you need to look at your own situation and uh, answer this accordingly uh no i have never held a canadian visitor visa in the past 10 years uh, if it is same for you no it is yes i don't hold a valid us non immigrant visa and yes i am traveling to canada by air so this question uh, is could be different subject person to person uh, so read it carefully and then answer Save and continue. I was born in India, so I'll give India. If you're born in any other country, you can give accordingly. I was born in Kolkata, so I'm giving Kolkata. You can give your own city name. Ah, uh, no, I'm not a citizen of more than one country. Ah, uh, this is basically asking you like if you hold dual citizenship, then you should give yes. If you are only citizen of one country, for example India, you should give no, and then you should select the country that you are citizen of. In my case, which is India. So if you click on this part, if you click on this part, this part will get removed. Ah, uh, this part will get automatically answered, but because this is my date of birth. so since i am a citizen of this country since uh, i was born so they have mentioned this date however if i would not select this part and if you are citizen since like last 5 year for some country you can give uh, you can update this information for those 5 years however since i am citizen since birth i will select on this part save and continue yes i have a valid national identity document for people in india we can give document uh, this is our aadhar card you can give aadhar details you can confirm aadhar details uh this uh, date of issue for aadhar you will find it in your enrollment card that you may have received or even on your e, e aadhar I, i guess you will be able to find it so i made it i have received it in 2015 in january on 1st of january so this was issued to me by india uh this this is the country that we are discussing i uh, will save and continue so this question is asking me have i ever used another name so for me i have never used another name but for some women they do change their name after marriage so they can click on yes and then they can uh, i click on add click on add and update their name that they had before marriage name before marriage or if you changed your name you can click on previous name so update it accordingly in my case since uh, i have never used uh, i have never had another name in the past i'll click on no save and continue so this is asking for us for a uh, what is your residential address so basically this is your contact information in my case i live in india for the example of this video this is my address my city is kolkata my postal code is this and my mailing address is same as the address which i mentioned above however if your mailing address is different you can click on no and then you need to give your mailing address again and if it is same you can just click on yes 
so now this question is that the next question this one is that uh, you need to mention all the countries that you have lived in the past five years however the point that uh, we need to keep in mind is that it should be for more than six months since I have never lived in any other country for more than six months except my home country so I'll just give the details of my home country so which is India I'm a citizen here I have lived here since 1994 so you need to give details uh, of last five years so if in last five years you have not lived in India for example and you have lived in some other country uh, you can give uh, that country a name over here and uh, you can mention uh, like you are a worker there or a student there and you can type uh, uh, and you can uh, write the date so this is where I currently live so I just I don't need to type on any other thing if you have had multiple uh, uh, like if you have lived in multiple countries in last five years for a period of more than six months uh, you can give the date and then you can type over here also from this part to whichever date you have lived you can type it but I currently live here so I'm not typing that save see the details are here now save and continue So if you have given your biometrics in the past for in last in the last 10 years so so you can select yes but uh, if you are not given your biometrics you can select no save and continue so now this is the part where you need to mention the name of the person who is inviting who is inviting you to Canada since I am uh, I, I, I am filling this form saying that uh, I am filling this form so that I can unite with my family so therefore I need to give the name of that person and if you are the person who is filling this form for your parents then you can give your own name if you are uh, staying in Canada and remember that a name should exactly appear exactly as it is on your passport or ID so for example as, as the name of the person who is inviting me is say it is something that's like this only he is my family member he is inviting me say my brother Now this part uh, you can type his address but uh, if uh, for example I'll type this so this is his address but uh, if you don't find this address over here you can also manually input the address so you can click on manually input address and then you will need to give the address name and every detail all the other details but if you don't click on this one and if you say it, this is my address this number will come automatically cellular Canada so give his number assume this is his number give give his email address no somebody has uh, no one else has invited me my brother is the only one who has invited me so I have already filled his details so I can give no to this uh, question if somebody also has invited you you can give yes and you can type his details also but in my case it is no so we'll move forward save and continue 
uh, I am typing 5000 uh, since I am only going there for one month I believe 5000 uh, should be sufficient but you can give 10,000 also if uh, if you want to be on safe side but for one month I believe 5000 should be sufficient but uh, do accordingly no some nobody else is giving me uh, any money if somebody is giving you money for uh, to finance uh, you for your stay in canada you need to type yes and then you need to give their details and also you may have to give some proof click save and continue Now this part, they are asking you about your educational details. So if you click on yes, if you if post secondary edu education means your university college. So after 12, whatever you have studied, for example, you are a BCom or a BTech, you, you should click on yes and click on add and give th those details. This will be the name of university, starting date, end date, level of study, uh, for example, uh, college diploma certificate field of study which will be like if you have a commerce you should type commerce if it is medicine you should type medicine select medicine but uh, for the purpose of this video i am selecting no but uh, you should give your own details click select yes and uh, give all the details now this is the work activities history so this is asking me have i ever served in the any of these in my case no but uh, according to your own situation you should uh, select now this part is asking me my employment history for the past 10 years for the past 10 years where i have worked so you can click on add you can click on uh, date like say save i'm working since uh, i'm working since 2013 january and it is an it is ongoing it is in business finance and So accordingly you can search these and uh, whatever uh, seems fit for you you can type that since I'm into finance I clicked on finance I'll give my employer name so here you need to type main duties of the job so what is your job so briefly describe the duties for the purpose of this video i am typing this but uh, you can type like if you are into auditing you can type uh, you work on audit procedure if you are into taxation you can type like you prepare work papers you file returns uh, you train a staff accordingly you can select whatever is best describes your job and, des and describe it briefly india one two three four kolkata is the location of my office for the exam purpose of this video it is in kolkata save so the detail will show over here we'll click on save and continue so this question is asking me have i traveled to any country in the last five years other than the country that i uh, i live in right now which is india there is a difference between this question and the earlier question where we mentioned about last 10 years because it is mentioned that we must have stayed for over six months in that country but this is not telling that this is saying any country that you have visited in last five years say for example i have visited so you need to mention from from date from when to when country since say i have visited uk i will mention uk 
location where i have mentioned and what was my pur purpose of travel so fill fill these save it but for the purpose of this video i am selecting i have not visited any country in the last five years but if you have visited any country for example uk or uae you can you should select yes and give the details save and continue no so it is asking me have i stayed in canada uh, beyond the validity of my status uh, attended any school in canada without authorization or work without without authorization no have i ever been refused a visa or permit so for my case it is no but i but for some of you this can be yes this can be yes so for example you may have been you may have uh, refusal uh, uh, for uk visa you your visa may have been refused uh, by us so you can give the, those details over here you can give the reason uh, but in my case since i have not been denied i'll type no save and continue so this section is about criminality and security so you need to for most of us this is generally no but uh, th these are the question that yes, that depends subject to person to person the answer to this depends subject to person to person so you should read this carefully and select accordingly any crime no criminal offense no have been charged no convicted for any no save and continue Uh, have you ever been a member of uh, an association which has engaged in or advanced violence as a means to achieving political or religious objective? No. Ill treatment of prisoners or civilians? No. Save and continue. No. So this is asking, have you had a medical exam performed by IRCC authorized panel physician in last uh, one year? No. Uh, this is your med medical background question. Uh, this is asking last two years were you di diagnosed with tuberculosis? No. And this is also mentioning that if you have a history of tuberculosis, it doesn't mean that you can't come to Canada. Once you complete your treatment, you can come. So the next question is in last five years, have you been in close contact with a person with tuberculosis? No. So again, answer it according to your own situations. Uh, no. Are you currently receiving dialysis treatment? Drug or alcohol addiction? No. Have you had had them had a mental health condition? Uh, to be threat to yourself or others or to be hospitalized? No. Have you ever been diagnosed with syphilis? No. I am single, I am selecting single. If you are married, you can select married. And in that case, you may have to give the details of your partner, the date when you were married, uh, their uh, name, their date of birth, the country, uh, what they do, uh, if their address is the same address or you, as yours. And then uh, on this question, it is asking, do are they also coming to Canada? So these are the details that you can fill for your partner if you want them to also uh, come to Canada. But since uh, I am applying for myself at this point and I'm single, I'm type selecting single. Save and continue. No, I don't have any biological adopted or stepchildren. But if you are filling this form for your parents on the behalf of your parents so the details that you have already mentioned say were your parents so this question concerns your parents in the sense that it is asking them that do they have any children so you should give your own name details here if you are filling it on behalf of your parents but since i am doing it for myself i will select no and i am single save and continue So this is asking the details about my parents. So uh, click on add. 
give details about your parents so this is the detail for my father so you can give your own father name over here obviously uh, this is for the pers purpose of this video this is not actually the real name <laughs> date of birth month January day first if your uh, parents uh, are no longer so you, if your father is no longer you can click on this one it's country of territory India present occupation uh, say if he's retired you can just type retired or if he has businessman you can type business yes so in my case is not coming to Canada so no save the details will appear over here click on add again give the name of your mother she's my mother her date of birth is homemaker so this is asking you occupation yes and no she is not coming to Canada save so both the details should reflect over here save and continue so this is asking your native language if your native language is Hindi you can give Hindi and if it is any other language you can give accordingly yes i can communicate in english i prefer that they contact me in english save and continue so this is asking your own email address so i'll give the same email address that i uh, started application with confirm the email address Save and continue. This is asking you for your telephone number. This is dial code, and this will be your telephone number. Save it. save and continue now we have updated all our details so uh, I would suggest you should take a look at them very carefully and uh, what you can do is that you can click on expand all so this will give you a, a better view of uh, the answers that you have given take a look at them read it carefully read it carefully save and continue so once you are sure that the details that you have mentioned is correct you can click on save and continue so you should read all these carefully again so you need to give your passport and other supporting documents uh, the size limit is 2 MB per file So read them so there are some mandatory documents there are some optional documents so read uh, what are the support documents that you need to provide so you need to give this letter letter of invitation so you need to give one national identity document which is like your Aadhaar or voter ID card so you need to upload your passport uh, travel document passport so these are the mandatory documents so, and uh, your funds your bank statement is also your mandatory document 
and uh, you can also uh, give some other supporting documents uh, like contact personal information so you can give a letter from your employ employer and you can give other additional documents so that you can make your case in the best possible manner so but those are the optional documents your uh, main mandatory documents uh, listed over here is your bank statement your passport your uh, aadhar card or any national identity card and a letter of invitation so you need you should click on add file and upload those documents once you upload every document you can should click on save and continue i am not clicking on save and continue right now because i am not uploading those documents and once you complete that step the next next thing is obviously you need to make your payment so we have we have we already done with this part till document once you upload the documents you can make the payment you can give your consent and declaration and finally you complete it so once you complete it you can go back to the home section you can go back to the home section and see here your detail is being shown uh, days left to submit 2016 so once you complete that uh, you can come back to your account and you can see uh, the status of uh, your application i hope i was of some help to you uh for any questions you can obviously message me i will respond and uh, please uh, do remember to subscribe my channel thank you so much